Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is 10th video for gym management system in Django. And in this video, we will mainly implement the Lightbox plugin, okay, for our gallery. So when we click on this, when we click on the image, it will it will show the different different images in a pop-up, okay. So this is very simple and very beautiful plugin to show the gallery as a light box, okay. So here we have a this is the official website okay i will give the link in the description and uh, we will see that how we can implement this okay and the second thing we will do we will fetch the gallery images at the home page then we will implement the uh, lightbox plugin at this okay so actually this uh, should be the first then we will implement the second one the lightbox plugin okay so let's start to do this so first of all, what I will do, I will open the templates and I will open the home.html file. Okay. And I'll go to the gallery section. So here we have a gallery. Okay. And uh, we need to open our views.py file. So here we have a views.py file. And in this, we need the gallery images. Okay. So I will, <coughs> I will open the models.py file and in this we have gallery image so we will fetch the gallery image let's say g images and we will fetch all and we will this order by order by ascend descending minus t and then we will fetch only nine okay so we will fetch only nine uh, images at here okay <coughs> And we will pass this in a template. Okay. Now let's go to the home.html file. And here we will run the loop. Okay. So we have. 4. 4 image in G images. G images. And here we will and the for loop and four okay so let's see what we have now so we have only one image so let's go to the admin section and here we have admin <coughs> and let's go to the gallery images so we have only one image let's add one more image not one more let's add uh, this is image two and let's add second image this is a uh, okay fine let's add this save <coughs> let's add one more image image 3 and let's select this save okay so we have added three images so it will maximum fetch nine. So let's see this now. <coughs> so we have three images, but this is not showing the images because we had, we didn't define the path. So let's define the path. So this will be, this will be static. And where we are saving these images, if I go to the root and here we have main static and here we have images uh, not here we have main and uh, actually in the media we have images so we need to define the in the from the media and from the media we need to find gallery images okay so we have image actually we can directly call this url image dot the name of the field that is a that is a image okay and then dot url okay name it's a let's name it something different let's name it g image okay so g image image and then url okay so it will fetch the source of the image we don't need this kind of thing we just need the data 
so I will remove this and here we just simply add this okay and for the all text we also have a field so I will add this is all text <coughs> fine so we just need this image and we just need this image dot url okay fine so g image dot url and g image dot all text okay so let's refresh the page we have we have some image broken issue here you can see that actually this is images let's uh, go to the views dot py file g images and if i go to the g image g image dot image actually this will be dot image and we have all text okay fine so refresh the page actually i have removed this image because we need this image because the field name is image okay so and then from that image we are getting the url and here we are calling the all text okay fine <clears throat> now we have all the images okay so now we will implement we can implement the uh, light box plugin okay so uh, before implementing light box plugin we need to download this so i have already downloaded this if I, if you will if you'll go to the template file then you will go to the assets and we have a light box so i'll copy this and paste it in our static folder main static and paste it here okay and we just need to define the we just need to define the js and we just need to define the css part so let's define that so in the home let's go to the bottom and here we will define the light box css and here we will define the light box js okay <clears throat> this will be link and the link will be static and in the static we have folder name this oh, where it is yeah and then we have distribution folder okay and then we have js folder and in js we will copy this min.css you can remove all the extra files okay and now we need to include the script we'll just copy all of this and paste it here and we will define the actually this should be css because we are attaching css and this is js okay fine <clears throat> so we have attached this now let's go to the home uh, here home page and what it is saying invalid static expected end block so where we are not ending this static uh, static uh, this is end where it is static static only two place static and uh, we have we are ending with the slab percentage this Okay, so why it is saying that let's restart the server restart the server and then we will see okay so refresh the page again it is saying that we are invalid block let's see the let's see we have static light box it is we are loading the static tag no we are not loading the static tag actually here we need to load the static load static we refresh the page <clears throat> okay fine so we have now images and uh, let's check that that uh, lightbox plugin has been included or not so when we click on the css so we have css when we click on the js we have js now let's see how we can attach this image in as a pop-up so if i'll go to the documentation of the light box then here we have a initialization we need this uh, we need to pass this data light box that is a group name okay 
and here we need to pass the href in the href we will we need to pass the big image okay so here we will pass the href in the anchor <coughs> okay and this will be actually we have passed multiple times okay fine so now this is the image and we need to pass the old text also we are passing at wrong place we are passing at the slider but we need to pass at the here <coughs> and here we will pass the image url okay so you can pass the uh, big image here and small image here also okay so let's refresh the page refresh this Oh, oh this is template refresh this so when we click on this it is showing the image but it is not initialized actually actually we need to add some uh, more things we need to add data light box data light box and here we will add the this will be the name of let's say gallery okay so for the single image we can say the data light box if you have group of the images then you can simply add this okay and uh, we have uh, uh, this uh, light box plugin if you are not currently using the jquery file already confirm that four images loaded css and we also need this images folder so what i will do i will copy this okay one thing more okay we have copied all of the things right so let's uh, restart the server again <coughs> and i will re uh, let's close this template path and let's refresh the page so we have something like this and i'll see so here we have something error that is a href a light box and let's click on this why it is not showing so uh, we are following all of the things added, added, added if you want to show a caption added, if you want to show something this so we have light box and we have CSS and everything is all right and and in href we have added the things and all the things okay so uh we, uh, we didn't added the jquery and uh, jquery is required for the light box okay so we will download jquery download jquery jquery is a javascript library okay i have used multiple times uh, in our previous project now we are implementing this light box and light box required jquery okay so here it is so we will go to this production jquery and save this in our folder i'll go to the project and app and uh, system main static and here we will see okay and we will include this in our layout because we need jquery multi uh, in a lots of pages so we will include this in our layout so where, where it is page.html and here we will include the jquery so here include jquery okay so script source and we will what i'm doing okay so in the static we will copy this name and here we will add static and this name okay and we have loaded the jquery now let's re retry this again <coughs> it is saying that okay so now when we click on this it is loading in a light box okay so we have implemented all the tasks actually we have implemented two tasks first of all we fetch the data uh, in the home page and second we have implemented the 
light box we just need uh, if you want to implement the light box you need three things the first thing is a jquery and the second thing is a js okay and the last one is css okay so you can explore this documentation uh, there is nothing uh, very complete uh, this is not very complicated this is very lightweight plugin you can implement in your projects okay uh, one thing more i want to implement in this uh, video we will here we need to add a link here and here okay so let's add this link so i will open this base html and here url and here we will add a home <coughs> okay and uh, this will be also home so let's refresh this page when we click on this we are home when we click on this we are home gallery home pricing home okay so here is a task for you so when we click on this view all you need to implement the gallery you need to implement the lightbox plugin in the gallery detail page okay so please implement and uh, uh, add your name and comment uh, name add your name in the comment box in this video so that i will understand uh, let's say you can add uh, uh, implement uh, light box implemented okay so i will understand that you have implemented the light box okay and you have understand all the things okay so so in this video i just want to show you how we can implement that and how we can show the gallery image okay so Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe this channel. Please like this video. Okay. So thanks for watching this video. Thank you.